Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about trash. I'm Alex and welcome to the Renaissance Builder. So I'm not even joking. We're talking about trash today. Oh, this is starting out great. Uh, slam review. <laughs> Hash, hashtag slam review. Is that a thing? Let's make it a thing. Anyhow, so here's how it all started. So I was sitting down one day, enjoying some peace and quiet time. Taylor <coughs> Trump! <coughs> Sorry, clearing my throat. And uh, I was surfing the interwebs, and I happened to come across what was advertised to be a great defrosting or automotive defrosting solution. Now I had just finished failing to turn my water chiller air conditioner into a heater, a space heater. And so it piqued my interest for several reasons. One, I am currently looking for a good solution to space heating a vehicle, whether it be a, a small car or even like a large van, hashtag van life. Uh, so I'm, I'm currently trying to find a good solution for that. And two, I really honestly wanted to see if this thing was worth a damn. Spoiler alert, it's not. So it is all BS. And I figured we start with this review with the purchasing. Now mind you, this thing comes from China. I one time was like, hey, here's a really cheap set of Legos. So I bought it, I paid for it. Six weeks later, I got a pink set of knockoff Abercrombie sandals. So anyhow, I never got the tracking number and all that kind of stuff. Now, online, when I went to buy this thing, they did use PayPal, which is honestly the only reason I actually followed through with this, because in PayPal, then you can at least get a refund on your money when they fail, fail to deliver. So they at least went that far. Now, as soon as I did buy it through PayPal, I, I never received... Uh, from the seller, I never received uh, an email saying, hey, we got your order or even a tracking number or shipment or anything. I, PayPal said, hey, we paid for it, and that's the end of it. Two weeks went by, and I, I put a ticket in with PayPal and said, look, I never heard from these people, so, well, PayPal reached out to them, and then they finally answered back and said, oh, by the way, it was shipped, and here's the tracking number. And I'm like, oh, okay. A week later, the thing arrived. That's how it arrived. This thing was bubble wrapped beyond, beyond belief. And it still got crunched. Like seriously crunched. I, like, I can't even imagine what it went through. But <clears throat> point is, that was... So, you know, three weeks goes by till you finally get the item and it comes crunched. So, thankfully it's not a delicate piece. At least I hope not. So, on to the product itself. Now, if you look on this box, you'll notice a couple things. And I did a couple takes because I'm no linguist, but I believe this Aeroterma, Aeroterma C is probably Spanish or some derivative thereof. And, but then you go on the other side and it's Heislufter und Ventilator. Pretty sure that's like a German dialect of some sort. So I'm like, there's no just King's English or American English on here. So I'm like, it comes from China and it's got German and Spanish writing on it. Or at least some derivative thereof. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it just gets more interesting. The second thing that caught my eye... Or maybe first, somewhere in there, it's a toss-up. 200 watts. I thought, that couldn't be right. It took me about two seconds of thinking. I, I'm, I'm exaggerating that to make myself look good. It actually took like 10 minutes, because math, you know. Uh, most, alright, so, most vehicles that I've worked on with a cigarette lighter, and this plugs into the cigarette lighter, most vehicles I've worked on with a cigarette lighter have taken 10 amp fuses to the cigarette lighter to protect it from shorts. Now, I wanna say thank you to James Larson, a viewer that commented that 
he's seen 15 amp fuses. So I guess you can get power sockets out there that are up to 15 amps that they'll deal with. Over that, you end up blowing fuses. So that being said, also your battery at its healthiest is gonna be like 12.7. So we're just gonna say 12 volts. Uh, but let's just say for shits and giggles that it's 12 volts. Uh, so 12, 12 times 15, at best you're getting 184 watts, not 200. So right off the get-go. And that's what triggered me to, triggered, that's what led me to search on the interwebs to see what other things are advertised like. Like, did I just get a fluke or it turns out, no. There's quite a few of these pieces of garbage out there on the internet that are advertised for ridiculous numbers that are complete lies. Now at this point, I wanna take the thing out of the box. So we're gonna open her up and see what's inside. I have not opened this since I got it because I wanted to do this on camera. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside, see what we got. Pretty basic. No extra frills. I think that's double stick tape. Wow, a no instruction manual, nothing. The plastic, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's what you would expect for, I mean, it's not all that expensive. It's less than 30 bucks, including shipping. So it's not like it's all that expensive. I guess you're supposed to take this double stick tape and glue it to the surface whatever so we got a switch over here on the side it says off fan and then heat so there's that and then of course your cigarette outlet or its lamp wire like the most available wire on the market so that's what this is like now what I want to do first and foremost is put this thing to the test we're gonna plug it in I'm going to get my thermometer we're gonna plug it in and this this mount is where look at this. This this is quality equipment, guys. Oh, it stayed. So I'm gonna go get my thermometer and I'm gonna get my jumper box to plug this thing into 12 volts, and we're gonna see what kind of temperature this thing can actually put out. Okay. Now I got my handy dandy testo meters over here and we got our good old jumper pack which is charged up. It's actually hanging about 13 volts. So this is gonna get a little more than it normally would. All benefit of the doubt and all. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in. It's in the off position. We'll plug her in and start this off. Now I guess what we'll do first of all is measure fan speed. So we're gonna put the thing on fan. Ooh. That's a shaky bastard. I have to hold that up. Okay, right off the get-go, this thing is crazy noisy and... Crazy weak. Alright, well, anyhow. So, just in fan mode only... I got 350 feet per minute. Oh, now it's up to 380. That makes sense depending on the direction of fan rotation. 390. All right, so I'm going to say at best it's doing 390. I did see that on the measurement, so we'll go with that. Now, right now, we're sitting at a room temperature of about 73 degrees. So, heaters... Let me turn this stupid thing off. Noisy piece of crap. That fan is not balanced at all. Uh, so, heaters use the same parameter that air conditioners do, delta T. The difference between return, or the space air temperature and supply temperature, what's coming out. That temperature difference is called the delta T. So when you hear me say delta T, that's what I mean. So same thing as air conditioner. So let's turn this thing to heat and 
see what we get. Right off the get-go, the fan is slower. I can't even feel it. I'm this far away, I can't even feel it. Whatever. I'm just going to jam this thing right up in there. So the temperature is going up. I guess we'll give it a while and see what it does. All right. <clears throat> so at this point, I believe we've reached an equilibrium uh, where we have up to... Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. Even this wire is getting hot. Well, it's probably drawing the 10 amps. Anyhow, so it's, it's rolling about 145 degrees. However, it is only, it's like 50 feet per minute less. I'm at like 330 feet per minute when it was 300 and, what did I say, 390? We're like 60 feet per minute less. So, it's barely any air now i will say this if if you could make this thing run the entire night the wire would melt eventually craptastic so if you could let this thing run all night long it may keep a vehicle from freezing because that is a pretty good supply temperature. So 145, so 73 to 145, let's just say 143, so that's 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's a 70 degree delta T, a 70 degree split. That's actually fairly decent. But the reason it's a 70 degree split is because there's barely any air movement. Uh, so there's a balance between how hot the air is and how much of that hot air you get and this ain't this ain't jack okay now we have our amperage and we have our temperature and i thought i would give you guys a visual representation of how much air or lack thereof this thing's actually blowing a little piece of plastic right let's turn her on eight amps oh it's going up not 8.9 9 amps it's getting there all right do you see this I, I'm just like if I blow hard you know blow soft I blow soft that you can hear it running it's running and that's what you get that's how little air is flowing through this thing. It's phenomenally pitiful. We already measured the temperature. Temperature's pretty good. All right, so we're almost up to 10 amps. So apparently as the heating element gets hotter, it's drawing more amperage, which is backwards, but okay, 9.8 amps. All right, so let's just say 10 amps. At 10 amps and 12 volts, we are looking at 120 watts not 200 120 now to see how many BTUs that is if I go to my handy dandy calculator 120 what did we say 120 watts yeah times 3.41 409 BTUs My computer heats the space better than this thing does. Trash. In fact, it's garbage. It's absolute garbage. So, I'm not sure what else is left to do with the video. Well, there you have it, guys. A true and honest opinion. I'm not hiding anything and nobody's paying me jack. So, I have no reason to lie to you. A uh, true and honest opinion of a 12-volt space heater. They suck. 
they're garbage. Like, at least this one sucks and this one's garbage. There may be a decent unit out there. I would put a challenge to the internet to find a decent unit by all means. If you guys come up with a decent unit, I'll test it. I'll see whether it's worth it or not. And if it is, by all means, I'll praise it as worth it. But this stuff and everything else that I've seen similar to this, it's crap. It's junk. Don't, don't waste your money on it. So that concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed this, if you at least found it somewhat entertaining, go ahead and hit a thumb, throw, throw a thumbs up over there. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon for future videos. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.